Another win on the road for the Tottenham Hotspur under 23s. That is now three pre season games, three wins, three clean sheets, and 13 goals scored. Hastings United nil, Tottenham Hotspur under 23s, three. Welcome back to the channel, hope you're all keeping well. I'm here at the seaside town of Hastings, uh, famous for the 1066 battle, but no battles today as I'm here to watch Tottenham Hotspur under 23s play a friendly against Hastings United. The Tottenham Hotspur under 23s have been in fine form, two pre-season friendlies so far, a 6-0 win at Ramsgate and a 4-0 win at Enfield Town last week, so it should be a good game tonight. Dylan Mark and Day and J Neil Bennett have been on fire in both pre-season friendlies for the under 23s and both of those players I'm sure will be looking at the other players that they know very well who have joined up with the first team in the pre-season friendlies for the first team um, so far, um, Leighton Orient and Colchester and of course the first team will be in action tomorrow night at MK Don so you know players like Dylan Mark and Day and J Neil Bennett will be trying to bang on the door of Nuno Espirito Santo saying, well, you know, some of these friendlies, can we be involved? Um, you know, you look at the likes of uh, Dane Scarlett. He has kind of bypassed um, playing for the under-23s. He's, he's played for the under-18s week in, week out, banging in the goals, and now all of a sudden he is part of this first-team squad. Fantastic opportunity for him, and I'm sure he will get game time in the Premier League under Nuno next season. Anyway, it's, uh, it's a great um, place here in Hastings, so if you would ever like to visit here, I noticed the, uh, the donuts in the background there. I've got the chips, so I won't be having the donuts as well. I'm on the way to the stadium now. So a lot of people have asked me in the past, why do I go to the under 23 games? Well, it's really to see the development and, and then see really what's happening at our club and get a real insight of what's coming through, um, you know, potentially coming through to the first team. Now, when I watch Harry Kane, when I watch Harry Winks, um, uh, ben Taleb, Ryan Mason, um, you know, the list is absolutely endless. And Oliver Skip is another one who, of course, has come through. And I tell you what, Oliver Skip, um, he's a player that I talk about a lot on podcasts and my own YouTube channel. Um, you know, I remember seeing Oliver Skip playing for the under 23s when he was just 16 and 17. He was a cut above the rest. There were players there of 23 years of age. He was 16. You know, there's a seven year difference. And Oliver Skip was running rings around players on the pitch at Stevenage. Incredible player. And uh, I have no doubt that he will achieve big things at Spurs. And like Jose Mourinho said uh, a year or so ago, he will be a future captain at Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. But I love seeing the development of these players. I love seeing the players coming through. Um, you look at some players sometimes and you think, well, they'll never make it. Um, you know, I must admit, and I will happily admit on this uh, on this video, I never thought that Harry Winks would be a first team player. I never thought that Harry Winks would go on to play for England. And of course, he's proved me wrong and fair play to him and a lot of the other guys. Um, but it's great to see the players coming through. Um, you know, we've got a really great youth system at Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. And, uh, you know, to see the likes of Dane Scarlett now coming through, you know, bypassing under 23s, as I said earlier, and going into the first team, it is really, really great to see. And I just want to add as well, if anyone thinks that I was having a dig at Harry Winks earlier, absolutely not. I actually find myself defending players like Harry Winks a lot because I've seen them come up through the youth system, um, seen them play for the under-18s, under-23s and so on. I've seen how hard they've worked to get into the first team. So fair play to these players. Um, you know, our youth, um, our youth system is very, very important to the club. So we need to get behind these players 100%.
So number three, Lavigne, and number ten, Alfie Devine, of course, have played in the first team. Tottenham, great work from Alfie Devine. Saved and then put into the net. 1 0. So Dylan Martin Day with the first goal and now he's got an assist. Lions Foster heading home. 2-0 Tottenham. That's half time. Hastings United nil, Tottenham Hotspur two. Goals to Mark and Day and Lyons Foster.
yellow card in the front, you don't see many of them. That's it, final score, 3-0 Tottenham. That was a really poor challenge by Hastings player. There were quite a few in the second half. So just walk back to the car. One thing I didn't tell you about Hastings, very, very hilly. Wow. So the game finished 3-0 Tottenham. Um, decent display by the Tottenham Hotspur under 23s. That is now three pre-season friendlies, three wins, three clean sheets, 13 goals. Big shout out to Hastings United tonight, a very, very friendly club. And that is another reason why I love coming to these friendlies, under 23 games, etc going to stadiums and visiting places like this you wouldn't normally go. Anyway, attendance tonight, 1,421. Superb support. A lot of them Tottenham Hotspur fans as well. I actually spoke to a number of Tottenham Hotspur fans during the game and at half-time, etc. Uh, lovely lot. Uh, spoke to a number of people from a group in Eastbourne who have got season tickets. Tottenham fans are all over this country and all over the world. We are a very, very well-supported club. Anyway, talking of support... I will be off to support the first team, and of course a number of under 23 players as well, um, at Milton Keynes Dons tomorrow night, Wednesday evening. Tickets are still available by the way, so if you do want to go to the game and sit in the away end, go and visit the website. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you don't subscribe to the channel yet, please do hit that subscribe button. I'll see you on the next one. Until then, come on you Spurs.